what do you do when your life is full when your dreams are coming true but at the same time it looks as if your life is getting really full or fuller than you expected these are the things that i'm going to be sharing with you in this video the things that i have done when it appears as if my life was getting fuller than i thought or that than i bargained for because my dreams are coming through my goals my desires the things that i wanted to accomplish getting manifested but they all came at me at once if you like to know more definitely keep watching welcome back to my channel my name is adinike olakule aka one and only saint nurse if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please do so right now and let's dive right in into the things that um i usually do when i feel like my life is so full i don't say that i'm overwhelmed you know i don't use overwhelm as my as a language you know um because um it's all about perception the first thing is that i strongly believe that i am a high value person and because of that i will be in high demand if you are a mediocre you probably won't be in high demand but if you're not doing any deep work you are probably not going to be in high demand you probably will be sinking in netflix and chill you would have all the time in your life to you know surf the internet but if you have things really going on for you you will be in high demand whether by things or by people or your organization or your business or your family but one thing is that being in high demand or having so much commitment that you feel like you are overwhelmed is not a reason to be unhappy or to think that your life is you are losing control of your life it is not a reason to feel that way don't forget it is all about perception i'm going to be sharing with you five tips that um, i have personally used that has helped me to stay productive um, in those moments where I had a lot on my plate, a lot of commitment on my plate. The number one thing is this, know your seasons. Understand the season that you are in. You might not be available for everyone. You might be in hiding. You might have to be in solitude. You might be, in, you might be moving in silence. You might not be at the front line and it might require that you be in the front line. When you know your seasons, when you understand your season, you'll be able to prevent the frustration that comes with comparing yourself with other people. For example, I was unable to post on my social media. I was unable to, um, you know, promote other things that I would love to promote. But because I understood that I was in the season of my life where I have to be given to study, I was able to deal with that. I didn't have to compare myself with people who joined Instagram yesterday and are having more followers than I am. I didn't feel like I was missing out when I wasn't on social media or when I wasn't posting on YouTube. I didn't feel like I was missing out. And that is because I understand the season that I am in. And you can, you can help yourself by understanding your season. Number two, Learn to say no without thinking that you are being snobbish. Say, I'm really sorry, but I don't have the time to do this at this time. And, you know, if you have to explain why you are doing it because you respect them, by all means, go ahead. But really, you don't have to explain to everyone the reason why you are not able to take up some task in your life in, if you are in a season where your hands are full and you need to do uh, you need to maximize your time learn to say no without feeling guilty about it i said a lot of no to people the things that the people excluded me from it was a great joy for me because i would i would thinking of how to say no number three delegate 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 don't feel like other people can't help you to do stuff it might require that you train them tell them they are, what what you expect from them 
tell them how they can help you and supervise them. You don't have to do everything by yourself. Delegate. If you've got children, delegate to them. If you've got siblings, delegate to them. If you've got um, friends who are willing, you know, let them know what they can do. You know, if you have a spouse, let them know how they can support you. Delegate, delegate, delegate. Sometimes I will order food from, you know, a, a very trusted um, uh, caterer. And at some, at some point, my husband would also cook in the house. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to do everything by yourself because the time that you are going to be using to do what is most important in that season would not, you know, be enough if you want to do everything by yourself. So if you have to train people, if you have to give something in return, if you have to, you know, um, explain why you need their help or their support, by all means, go ahead. But you can't do everything by yourself when your life is full. That is number three. Number four, you must change your perception about the fullness of your life. For example, you might have to acquire new belief about a full life or doing hard stuff. For example, I had to be, I had to start to, you know, accept that I am hardwired to do great stuff. I am hardwired to study, you know, hard, to read articles, to understand literature. I believe that Daniel understood by books. Why can't I? That was a mindset. I strongly believe that I am hardwired to do hard and great things, you know. So I won't give up. It would really help you not to give up. Did I feel like giving up in those moments when I, when I was doing so many things? I felt like giving up several times. But every time I felt like giving up, I reminded myself that I am wired to do great stuff. I am wired to do difficult stuff. And so I'll go back to my book, I will study, I will do the assessment, I will read literatures, I will search online, and I will do all the things that are required of me. And I'm glad I did, because now this is like a calm after the storm. And it's so beautiful. And that is a mindset of someone who is going to stay productive amidst their busy life. The last but not the least, prioritize 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 if i have a full life i'm going to ask myself does this have to be done now if the answer is no i put it aside do i have to post on instagram or youtube now no i put it aside do i have to surf the internet to watch a movie or to sit netflix and chill now no i put it aside ask again does it move me closer to my goal no if the answer is no it is going to be somewhere far far down on my list or even out of my list so if you are a person who feels like oh my life is so full i'm so overwhelmed look at the things that you can cut out from your life so that you can do great things and move you closer to your goal these are the things that has helped me um in the past um seven months or eight or six months that i've been given to deep 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 work and um, i hope that this would help you i hope that you would be able to apply any of these at some point in your journey when you feel like your life is rich and full and your dreams are coming true and it is more than what you bargained for um, i hope that this will sound like um, serve as a reminder for you Thank you so much for your time. Don't forget to like this video, to subscribe, and to drop a comment in the comment section. And I'll see you in my next video.